And again, if we fell love, you can't come back and be my dog again. No. Even if I took off, I can come back and then probably ball again. Yeah, no, I can't let my foot off, but I guess I ain't got time to stall again. You know how many times I lost, but bitch, I'm too raw, I can't take a loss again. Yeah. We in the clips, don't know why they talk. Suit up, bro. Just got me the 4.1k likes, bro. Shout out to my dog Jose. TikTok live, like, really be doing some numbers. I gotta end the live for now. When I finish this story time, then I'm gonna get back on live, okay? Copy, got me. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Because I feel like it's only right if we get, throw the sub count in there too. Title told it all already. I took a lot of time on the noodles. I was fighting with the noodles. These noodles, I was talking about they cold. They're not cold, bro. Put too much in the same spot, bro. Let's to put too much seasoning in the same spot, bro. That's so unfortunate, bro. Quick little story time. I was on live like a couple hours ago, and they just asked me, like, bro, tell a story about a fight. So I was like, bro, you know what? I'm, that sounds like a good idea. I might as well talk about it. So I'm going to keep them short and simple so this video not too long wasting y'all time, bro. The first fight was in my fourth grade class. To be honest, I, like that was like the one year that I could, just, I could actually say I did sort of kind of get bullied. A lot of people will go through that, and it's not it's not a good thing to bully, bro. Do not bully, bro. You never know what somebody dealing with. But it was the one year I actually went to this school. It was, like I said, it was the fourth grade. Now, this kid, the particular kid, he I don't know what it was about me. I don't know what it is about me now. People just be trying me. But back then, it was worse. Like, people just thought they could walk all over me. Throughout the whole year, I've had probably, like, three altercations with this kid. I was mad, bro. I had to get my seat moved. And my mom came through school to talk to the teacher. And the teacher didn't do nothing. And I don't know, really. I don't know what it was about me, bro. But they just trying me. Hold on. Let me see if I can... So pretty much, the last day was the last day of school, bro. But to be honest, like whole year it was just always something. Like if it was my shoes, he just thought something about my shoes was funny. I mean, I mean the shoes I did wear, they weren't the best. Now that I think about it, but still, like who would want to go to school with somebody talking about your shoes when that's probably all you can afford at the time? So last year, I don't even remember what kid, the kid said. I had a whole party for the last day of school. I brought the Hawaiian punch. They had like candies and pizza and music playing, bro. It was just like everything that a kid would want in the last day of school to celebrate that we passed. Got my report card because it was towards the end of the day, seeing that I passed. And I was just nothing but happy. But this kid is like, he he just said, I don't even remember what he said to me, but it had to have been something that made me mad enough to want to swing on him. Now, when he, he tried to walk away because he thought he could just walk all over me and I was fed up with it. I can literally picture my myself right now because I can never forget it. I had my report card on my left hand. I had the juice in my right hand. I dropped both of them. I guess somebody told him I was walking up or whatever. 
and I, I punched him, but it was like I hit him with like one of, like this right here. You know that's like I know I hit him somewhere in his face because like I but it's like a blackout because I like I remember is like I, I swung, he didn't hit me, but I just remember having him like a headlock. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then after that, it was broken up and whatnot. And then the one real friend I had in that class, he he just came up to me like at the car line afterwards. He's like, bro, you like, bro, like you just fought him. I was like, yeah. But I didn't want to feel like talking. And I realized that was my last day ever talking to him. Like, I never spoke to him since then. I never went back to that school. I knew I wasn't finna go back to that school, bro. Fast forward. The next fight I had was eighth grade. I had like two fights. I'm gonna say two fights that I can remember. The first fight in eighth grade, bro, we had like some science fair project or whatever thing going on so we did for our class but we only did it for our class but then we would go downstairs so it was a big middle school and so went from the, my class downstairs to like the library where they had like a whole bunch of like top projects or whatever we were just going to go look around i don't know what i don't know what but he must have somebody must have dared him or, or he just had something to get off his chest against me but i'm telling you i'm sitting here i'm just standing there the bell ring i'm just standing there by myself i'm not even talking to nobody bro he comes up to me and he tried to sneak me like this like he go like that and try to back up i was like bro what so i swung on my left i pretty much grazed him like i didn't really like hit him like that as bad as i wanted to because he tried me i, I don't know what it was with me just putting kids in headlocks bro but i put him in a headlock and i i didn't let him go till he told me that he was done so he told me he's like oh i'm done like bro are you done bro like what's wrong with you like you know what i'm saying and he's like yeah i'm done and so i let go and i pushed him so he wouldn't touch me again he picked up his bag and walked off like that was the most awkward thing i've ever dealt with like what who in their right mind would just think to do something like that nobody touched you nobody talked to you i was just standing by myself so after that i guess we was cool or whatever i wasn't really talking i mean we never spoke about it yeah it's, it's just something that i still question to this day like why Next fight in eighth grade, bro. It was actually on my bus, my school bus. The way my school bus was, or my school buses were, from my neighborhood went to a transfer station, from the transfer station to the school. But luckily, my school was literally the same exact street from the transfer station. Also, I rode the same bus the whole way. Like I didn't have to go to a different bus to get to school or come back home. On the way back, I don't. On, on, it was on the way coming home. I don't know what it was, but I feel like this was like a buildup. Me and him were cool now. We just not on that type of time no more. I don't know what it was, but it was a buildup. Like me and him, like stopped becoming. Like we stopped being friends after a while. I don't know why. I think at that time, like everybody just like stopped being friends with me. And then this was like one of the times where. I was like fed up once again. And then I was just chilling on the bus. You know when you playing music and you're zoning everybody out, my music was changing. I heard him behind me, like, mind you, I'm sitting like this and I hear him behind me talking. And I'm like, bro, like what? Like, like, bro, you talking, like, why are you talking right now? He was just talking rah, 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 all like, like, for like 10 minutes straight. And I tried to ignore it because I don't want to build that. I'm not trying to get in no type of trouble. I'm not that type. I wasn't that type of kid, bro. Eventually, like, he just kept going. And I hear him keep talking after my next song. And then I, I turn around. I started talking. So now he's talking. But mind you, he's on the inside of the seat. So he's at the window seat on the bus. And I'm just like, bro, you're talking like you're not on the inside. Like, you're talking at the window and I'm sitting at the aisle seat. I'm sitting in the middle seat. So imagine how that looks. We just going back and forth, talking and talking. And I was really on that type of timing for some reason because I felt like this it's just a whole lot of you talking about me without saying nothing to my face. And so I, I pressed him to say it to my face. I was like, bro, you're talking, but get out the window seat. Get out the window seat. I kept saying that until he finally did. And then we waited for somebody to get off, right? For somebody to stop to come up. So next thing you know, he get up out the seat, right? And he go and he go to the middle seat. The bus stops, me and him both stand up. We looking at each other's face like this. Just staring, and everybody just looking at us, obviously. I mean, I could feel the energy. It got quiet everywhere around us. One girl's filming or recording. I don't have the video, unfortunately. I actually want to see it myself. And then, like, next, you know, I just feel like the fire in my arm. And I just swung. Like, I, I didn't think straight. I didn't think about the consequences that could happen. You would get in trouble for hitting first. And the other kid would probably get in trouble for, like, just fighting in general. But hitting first, you're always gonna get in trouble. So I got so I got suspended off the bus for three days. He didn't get, I don't think he got any penalty. And then when I got back on the bus, I had to sit in the front for a while. The bus driver pulled over and he had me sit right behind right behind him, so all the way in the front. And he was talking and talking and talking. And I'm mad, I'm like, bro, shut up. Like, stop, stop talking to me, like, bro. You, you trying to get me even more mad? You just talking a lot right now, like, bro. I'm trying to calm down and the bus driver keep talking to me, like, reckless, like, dummy reckless for no reason. I put my headphones back in so I don't hear nothing else and then just start texting me on kick 
now you just doing a whole lot, bro. There's just it's just no reason for it. And after that, I don't think I've ever got into another fight. I mean, I slap box about tw two or three times, and after that, I never fought again because I just realized that it was just like a waste of time, waste of energy. And who's really gonna like care about it after a while? I mean, if you ain't putting no gloves on, and that's it. But that's that's still a waste of time to me. But other than that, bro, don't fight at school, bro. If you're young, don't fight at school. Don't cause no altercations because it's not worth it at the end of the day. It's not gaining you nothing. I just realized I barely ate any of my noodles in the midst of talking about this. Uh, boy, yeah. But if y'all enjoyed this story time, I'm finna finish these noodles and go back on live. So, I mean, if you enjoyed this, like the video first. Subscribe if you're new. And if you're not new, you know to shut that thing up. And I just really care about you enjoying the rest of your day being safe or enjoying the rest of your night whenever you watching this because i mean y'all watching at different times so what am i really talking about you know what i'm saying other than that bro hold up 513 subs bro thank you again for 500 subs bro i'm calling a thousand on the way next i I'm, i mean every subscriber matters but a thousand subscribers will be delightful until next time, bro. Keep it chill, keep it 4K, and you enjoy your day if night. Y'all ever did was lie to me. I know my brother looking down. I know he proud of me. I know he proud of me. Yeah. Crazy. I done told the whole freaking story, and I don't even want these freaking noodles no more. Fuck it, I'm in my enemy, showing no sympathy. Never say that you can feel my pain, I highly disagree. Niggas know that I am too official, like a referee. Females doing all that pillow talking, I just let it be. I done gave up too much of my love, now I can't get it back. Heart been broken in two different halves, now that shit back on black. I don't know too many of my people, that shit hurt me bad. All I gotta do is say the word, my nigga.